Well, hello and welcome again to my office slash studio just outside the DC area. Today, we are going to be taking an in-depth look at the brand new 2021 Acura TLX. That's right, this hot new sports sedan has been on everyone's mind for the last two years. I know Acura was first starting to tout out that Type S was coming about two years ago when I first drove the new RDX. Well, it is finally almost here. Now in its second generation, the new TLX will be built on an Acura exclusive platform. It marks the return of the front suspension going back to a double wishbone design, which we haven't seen for about six years. And it will be coming back with an all turbocharged lineup in addition to that hot new Type S. That's right, Type S is finally back after about a 13 year hiatus. So without further ado, let's take a first look. Now about six years ago, Acura introduced the all new TLX as a replacement for the TL and TSX, which Acura combined into one sports sedan. The problem with the first generation TLX is it never really had the same kind of visual presence as the old TL because it was a lot smaller and Acura enthusiasts just kind of looked at the car as more of a replacement for the TSX. Now the all new TLX, as I said, is riding on an Acura exclusive platform. And because it's riding on that new platform, Acura engineers and designers were able to really make the look of this car more proportionate or more befitting of a luxury branded car. It's very low and wide and they took a lot of design influence of course from the Acura Precision concept which they showed about four years ago and then of course the Acura Type S concept which they showed uh, early la or late last year. Now the low and wide proportions really make this car stand out. It finally looks like a premium car. No longer does it look like just a guzzied up version of the Honda Accord. The new TLX has a stretch in the wheelbase that is nearly four inches long. Its overall length has been stretched nearly three inches long and it's about 2.2 inches wider overall and about a half an inch lower in height. All of those increased dimensions and lower ride height make this thing seriously stand out. Even if you guys look at it in everything from the more premium advanced trim uh, to the sportier Type S models. At 194.6 inches in the overall length, this is about eight inches longer than something like a BMW 3 Series and a Tesla Model 3. And it's roughly about the same size as the Kia Stinger. In fact, looking at the overall look of the TLX, I really get a lot of Stinger influence. It's a pretty long car. It finally looks like a worthy replacement for the old 2014 uh, Acura TL. Now that longer wheelbase and overall lower proportions allowed Acura designers to give the TLX that strong dash to axle ratio and also allowed them to shorten the front and rear overhangs. Now, of course, most luxury brands are recognized by their grille design and Acura has really struggled over the years with their grille first showing off that dreaded beak about a decade ago, then eventually replacing it with the diamond pentagon. And as you can see for the all new TLX, the diamond pentagon is flanked by signature next generation July LED headlights with four LED light elements and a bright white chicane LED daytime running light. It also includes LED turn signals. The chicane theme kind of continues into the LED taillights and every TLX model will get exposed dual exhaust outlets. That's right, real exhaust tips. I'm looking at you, Audi and some other brands. And of course the Type S model will be getting the signature quad outlet theme along with an integrated rear deck lid spoiler. The wheels have also been upgraded on the new TLX. Standard will be an 18 inch wheel on the two liter turbo trim. That's an inch larger versus the 2020 model while a 19 inch wheel will be optional on the, on the A-Spec model. That's right, the A-Spec sport package will be back. It'll also be riding on 255 with tires. That's roughly almost 30 millimeters wider than the previous generation uh, TLX. So Acura is finally putting some fatter tires on this car to give it more grip. The Type S of course will come standard with 20 inch wheels on that 255 wide tire. It'll also offer two different wheel designs, a split 10 spoke design with a gray finish, which is the standard wheel. Or if you guys want, you can upgrade to a summer performance tire wrapped in an optional lightweight wheel inspired by the Y spoke design on the NSX supercar, which may be my new favorite wheel on an Acura product. Now, of course, you can't have a great sports sedan without powerful brakes to go along with the power and the TLX will get upgraded brakes 
even on the base model. However, the enthusiasts out there will really want to choose the Type S model, which will have four piston Brembo front brakes. While every other 2021 TLX will use the same electro server brake by wire system from the NSX, which Acura says improves the overall responsiveness of the braking system. Now, Acura provided a lot of photos of the TLX showing all the trim levels, the top of the line advanced trim, an A spec model, which is again Acura's sport package with a unique set of 19 inch shark gray wheels and front and rear fascias, and of course, that high performance Type S model which makes its return after a 13 year hiatus. Now the beauty about the new TLX, in my opinion, all of the models look great. Previously you had to get Acura's, you know, sedans with the A-spec package for it to look nice, but even the advanced trim painted in this beautiful performance red pearl looks great with those five spoke wheels. I think every TLX is going to really stand out when it goes on sale in the fall. Now, of course, you can't have a sleek looking sports sedan without something to power it that's going to really upset the competition. And this is where Acura has really tried to up their game over the last few years, and they're really bringing it now for the all new 2021 TLX. The new standard engine will be a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with their VTEC technology. It's the same engine that we've seen in the all new third generation RDX. It makes 272 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. Now, if you're gonna compare it to last year's base engine, the 2.4 liter naturally aspirated motor, this makes 66 more horsepower and nearly 100 more pound feet of torque over that outgoing engine. It also makes the TLX one of the most powerful base engines in the luxury space. It's got more horsepower and torque, of course, than a BMW 330i and an Audi A4. Now your only transmission choice will be a 10 speed automatic transmission. So sadly, that lovely eight speed dual clutch transmission that I really liked from the 2.4 is gone. Unfortunately, if you're looking for a manual transmission that is also not available. The 10 speed, however, is a great transmission, really gives you quick shifts, firm shifts, and it will really give this car the performance it needs. Now, as you guys probably have guessed, front wheel drive will be the base drivetrain option, while super handling all wheel drive will be available for the first time on the four cylinder TLX. Now, of course, the base two liter turbo is going to be a fine engine when it goes on sale in the fall, but you enthusiasts out there are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Acura says in the spring of 2021, we will have the new Type S TLX finally come to the marketplace. It will be launched with an Acura exclusive three liter turbocharged V6 engine. It's now a double overhead cam engine with a single twin scroll turbocharger and of course deck gasoline direct injection. This new V6 was designed and developed by the most skilled engineers from Honda's R&D center in Japan. It will also be built at the same PMC, performance manufacturing facility as the NSX engine. And you can even say that it has some of the soul from that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 from the NSX since the same engineers who designed that engine also touched this motor. Now, sadly, there was no mention of VTEC in the press releases, which doesn't surprise me because the 3.5 engine in the NSX also lacks VTEC. While no official power figures have been mentioned just yet, Acura says they'll launch that as we get closer to the on sale date of the Type S models. They are claiming this new motor will develop more than 50% more low end torque versus the old outgoing 3.5 liter naturally aspirated engine. Now, if we do simple math, that engine made 267 pound feet. And if you times that by 50%, Acura is basically saying this new turbocharged engine should be making close to 400 pound feet of torque. Now, of course, personally, I'm hoping that this engine will make at least 350 horsepower. It's going to need to make that if it's going to go head to head with cars like the Audi S4, the BMW M340i, the Mercedes AMG C43, and even the Kia Stinger GT. All of those competitors make at least 350 horsepower. So I would like to hopefully see Acura get as close to 400 horsepower as possible. And sorry, if you guys are looking for a manual transmission as well, the Type S will only be launched with the same 10 speed automatic from the two liter turbo. It's been beefed up, of course. The entire chassis has to be, to be able to handle the extra power. And this is the first Type S model ever to get the company's fourth generation super handling all wheel drive. That's right, a lot of you have forgotten that the previous Type S TL, TL from 07 to 08 was only offered with front wheel drive. This is the first ever super handling. It's a rear drive bias, super handling all wheel drive system that should really give the TLX Type S the performance it needs to go head to head with the best from Europe and even Korea. 
Now, once you get past the sleek exterior styling and all the muscle underneath the hood, these are sport luxury sedans. And that's an area where the previous generation TLX was really falling behind. A lot of you got inside that interior and just said, it looks like a fancy Honda Accord. Well, for this all new generation TLX, Acura says they will finally shed away that Honda Accord feel from 2010 for a much more luxurious and tech heavy environment with lots of authentic wood, real metal trim, and of course, supple Milano leather. It takes a lot of styling cues from the new RDX, especially with that dual personal cockpit theme. The highlight of that interior is the large 10.25 inch HD display, which is standard on every TLX, along with the same true touchpad interface, TTI, that we first saw on the RDX about two years ago. The console mounted touchpad uses absolute positioning, so the screen itself is actually not a touchscreen, but Acura says they've made improvements to the usability and they've upgraded the interface with a physical volume, power, and tuning controls and a new hand rest. The touchpad will also offer more accurate swipes and handwriting recognition. In front of the steering wheel, the gauge cluster features a standard seven inch full color display with traditional analog dials for the speedo and the tack. Now I'm surprised that Acura didn't go with a full digital display like most competitors, but I, ima I imagine those who prefer this more traditional look will like this. A 10.5 inch full color heads up display will also be optional along with the award-winning Acura ELS premium 3D audio system from the RDX, which now has a total of 17 speakers. Now, when I tested that sound system in the new RDX, I found it to actually rival the sound that I was hearing in the competition's Bang & Olsen and Bowers and & Wilkins branded sound systems, especially when you look at the sound clarity and the quality. The TLX will also feature the latest version of Acura Link and Acura Watch, their full driver assistance tech, which includes new tech features like traffic jam assistance which combines the adaptive cruise control with low speed follow to essentially drive you in bumper to bumper traffic, taking away that fatigue. In the middle of the center stack, you probably are going to notice that large dial that is for the drive mode selector. Just like the NSX and the RDX before it, Acura offers a choice of several different drive modes depending on the trim level of the TLX. The standard offerings will be comfort, normal, and sport. If you guys go for a type S version, they also throw in a sport plus setting. And there's also a new individual setting if you push the center of the dial where it has that Acura logo. The front seats offer 16 different ways of adjustability and Acura will offer the interior with seven different interior color combinations and about nine different exterior color combinations. The inside will also offer a beautiful red and a light orchid interior on the Type S. Now that's a big deal because most of the times Acura will limit the Type S model to just a black interior and then they recently started offering the red. So I'm really happy to see them offering a light color interior option for those of you who want it. At night, the interior ambient lighting is a new upscale touch and it offers up to 27, that's right, 27 different color schemes to choose from. The inside of the new TLX is designed to feel way more modern and upscale than the old model and I especially love the new thick rimmed flat bottom wheel on the A-Spec and Type S models. It just really brings together a new cohesive look for the TLX so I'm really looking forward to finally sitting in this car and driving it in person. So obviously the new TLX looks fantastic on paper and you guys are probably getting excited, I know I am. So you're probably wondering, well when can I pick one of these up? Well the base 2 liter turbo engine will be going on sale as early as the fall of this year. You're gonna have to wait until the spring of 2021 to get a hold of the Type S model. And Acura already says the base model will launch at a starting price of around the mid $30,000 range. The current TLX is around 33,000. So figure 35,000 for the base two liter. And that is a very, very competitive price considering the fact that Acura throws in 272 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. That is more torque than the old V6 TLX. Now there's no pricing yet on the Type S model, but if Acura can get the price of that model right around $40,000, I imagine it'll give them a legitimate player to not only the very expensive German competitors, but also the two hot Korean sports sedans, the Kia Stinger GT and of course the Genesis G70, which come in around $38,000 for the 3.3 liter twin turbocharged engine. The sad thing about the Type S, again, you're gonna have to wait until spring 2021, but if you're gonna be patient long enough, 
I think it could be the sports stand to wait for. Overall, I'm impressed with the new 2021 TLX. It's exactly the kind of sports sedan that Acura has needed for years. And with the RLX, their flagship being discontinued after this year, I think Acura has stretched the proportions and given this thing an overall look that will make the TLX feel worthy of Acura being able to call it the flagship sedan in their current North American lineup. But with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my full first look overview on the brand spanking new 2021 Acura TLX. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook, and as always guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.